and what I'm hearing you saying is that a lot of this had to do with planning, like yes. learning about what, what is ahead of you and planning for these things, because Absolutely. if you don't remove the packaging and we all know, like a lot of the packaging is absurd. It's and ridiculous, it all ends right? Up in the garbage and single use plastic bags. And you mentioned water bottles and yeah. then the trash. And I think, you know, if more people would plan a little bit further ahead, not just on a boat, but on land, they would, they would also see an impact in the way in which they do life. And it all adds up into what we see happening in our oceans. And that's right. Um, I, I subscribe to a radar software where it shows how many boats are on the ocean in yeah. my area. And I zoomed out to the world, to the Pacific Ocean. I was shocked at the thousands and thousands and thousands of boats. And every one of those boats are dealing with exactly what you just talked about. Exactly. And if, if everybody we all their just did one little would... thing. Yeah. I mean, it's so important to be aware of all that. But it also became a challenge and kind of fun. How much trash can we get in this one eight liter bottle? And uh, you know, you just when you think it's full, you can stuff something else in there. <laughs> you would, you'd be amazed how much you can get in there if you just keep uh, pushing it in there. <laughs> so, so what happened when you got to land with the the bottles? Uh, we got to land. And... I mean, we found a safe place to display to dispose. You know, uh, marinas have some sort of dumpster or some mm -hmm. sort of place where you can put your trash. And a few bottles that we did have, we had separate, so we could put those in a recycle bin. Mm -hmm. And of course, anything else that was recyclable and then the trash itself and then the waste from the diaper genie, you know, went into the regular trash. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. Um, and it was so much less than what we thought it was going to be. And I was proud. I was very proud of us for now, you did mention in the previous episode about your dogs. And one of the yeah. issues is dealing with the dogs because they, where do they go to the bathroom? Right. Is, is that also part of the diaper, diaper genie sort of? Yeah. Um... <laughs> no, we didn't do that with dogs. I have to wipe dogs. So there's no paper, <laughs> but uh, we had like a fake grass mat that was on the bow of the boat, but in heavy conditions, we just brought it into the cockpit. Uh, but the dogs would go on the, that we trained them mm -hmm. to go on the grass mat on the bow. It took some effort, but we did train them to do that. They knew that's where they were supposed to go. And I did. Mm -hmm. And then we would just take, if we were in a marina, we would take the hose and hose it off. If we were in sea, we would take a bucket of seawater and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and rinse, rinse the, uh, the mat and get rid of the waste. Yes. Yeah. So that, that's kind of stuff can go overboard. Um, so, but I mean, the smell could get bad, but no, we didn't, we didn't wipe the dogs with toilet paper. <laughs> The dog oh, would go, what are you be, doing? We let them be dogs. <laughs> <laughs> but we did a... clean it up. So you just have to clean it up. We'd take a bucket of seawater, slosh it on the on the bow, and everything goes over and everything's fine. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Michelle, we've been talking about all the different things you can do as a boater to help our environment. And these tips about waste, planning, preparing, the diaper genie is brilliant. Isn't it I mean, brilliant? It is. I, I mean, I was pretty idea. proud of it. I just think it's the greatest invention ever made still to this day. I just have always thought that. And so why not put it on a boat? Absolutely. I'm going to get one for my boat for this. Yeah. Because it's such a, and there's going to be different ways of, of using very it as well for food scraps, anything that smells. Absolutely. Yeah. In the summertime, you know what happens to food scraps when it's warm. Absolutely. Out. And we attract, like when we're sailing close to land, you attract flies and wasps Absolutely. and stuff like that. So. And, and roaches and other oh. bugs and other vermin. I mean, all that kind of stuff is a threat on a boat if you don't have things stored carefully. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, the diaper genie is just, it's just a brilliant way to store it. And, and just the smell, you just can't imagine that can get bad on a boat. You have to think about that. <laughs> yes, terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that the Dapper Genie solves all those problems. I I personally think a great invention, and every boat should have one. I mean, you need a little trash receptacle anyway. So why not use something that's kind of yeah. designed to consolidate, not only consolidate the waste, but ask the smell. Yes. Or eliminate the smell, really. Yeah. And why repurposing not? those water bottles to trash receptacles, that's also brilliant because now yeah. you're, you're dealing with two problems, right? And it's solving them. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Just don't throw them overboard. <laughs> yes. Michelle, thank you so much. Um, you've mentioned a bunch of things and you've also authored a few books that right. deal with sailing, dealing with dogs. 
where can people find more information about you, your books, and uh, the sailing tips and some that we discussed today? Sure. Yeah. I have a, a website that's just loaded with all kinds of tips and practical advice, and uh, it's called navigatecontent.com. And I think we will put a link in the description and you can find all kinds of great tips in there, even some that we didn't discuss. Um, there's just a wealth of content information there. Books are also available on the website, but are all available on Amazon and they're free to Kindle Unlimited customers. So if you have a Kindle Unlimited account, you can get all my books for free and um, they're available all over the world. And you can just Google search my name on Amazon and uh, Elsie Segrist and all my books will pop up and I do have an author page where all my books are available and I have several books about sailing that uh, would be helpful to you. I'd love Wonderful. to share them. A dog, a book about dogs and a book about uh, children's books. So it's children's wonderful. books yes. and um, pups. Yeah. Chil the dogs have their own books. Captain uh, Jack and Scout have their travel adventures where we try to teach children about culture wonderful. and geography and wildlife. And they're really super fun. We're having so much fun putting those together. My son, Bo is the illustrator and I'm having a great time working on that project. That's wonderful. Well, for our viewers, all of the links that we just talked about are going to be in the description below. And as uh, the Green Boater community, we are all trying to do a little bit better. And we have a challenge before us. And we're trying to get 1 million boaters, which sounds like a lot, but it's actually a very small group. If we That's could right. get 1 million boaters to do one thing that helps reduce ocean pollution, it could make a big impact. And Michelle, today, you've given us several great, great. And if you would consider just doing one of these things this coming boating season, it would be wonderful to hear from you. Just leave a comment. Let us know what you're doing. Maybe you've got a new tip that you want to share with us and uh, your boating. That'd be awesome. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I'll be.